Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. In today's video, we are going to do a chit chat regarding the Chewy Create Your Smart Life with the HI10 Max. This is a 201 tablet PC, a configuration I personally didn't really review in the past, but I did own one of those devices back in the day. I do wonder how this thing is overall performing, but most particular when you're looking at, let's say, the Chewy products, we do have different configurations. However, they are using most of the time the same kind of chipset, and that is the Intel N100. A chip that has a lot of possibilities when it comes to just browsing the internet, playing some basic games, but also some emulation. The Chewy H i10 max comes in different kind of let's say configurations you can see over here having 8 12 16 even 32 gigabyte of memory then we're having storage capacity differences so having 128 256 and 512 and one terabyte and over here we're having the configuration or the information about the device this thing comes with a 12.96 touchscreen has a quiet and massive resolution the cpu is the n100 and the dimensions of the tablet itself where this thing is a tablet, what you can also get yourself is the Chewy special powered, the smart stylus. There's another very cool piece of accessory if you want to use a stylus. And of course, we have a, a keyboard. So in the keyboard combination, we can make this thing like a very cool laptop, semi laptop situation over here. Well, let's do a quick unboxing together and let's see what we're getting in the inside, the way how they pack it up and how is the overall experience when it comes to, let's say, all of the functionality. So the first, first brown box, I'm guessing this will be the power supply. I put it up on the wrong side, <laughs> like always. So let's see what kind of power supply we're having. This is a 12 volt, 3 amp, nothing very like special, just with a type C cable. So that's quite convenient if you're going to be losing it or you just have a, let's say, a problem with it. You can just replace it with something else fairly easy. So let's pull out the cardboard over here and let's pull out the product itself. So let's see what's going on over here. So this is the manual and other information with the H or the HI10 Max. And yeah, so overall as a user manual, love the packaging. So first of all, this thing does have a very heavy weight to it. So this is not like a very basic cheap, cheap to the cheap tablet. So out of the box, I must say that this thing feels very nice. I must say that I already checked out some other Chewy products and yeah, I'm always like quite excited about it because they have like been showcasing a lot of great products. So we can remove this part over here. Wow, man, that magnet is crazy, very crazy. So the back is not like, say, you can fold it or whatsoever. At the bottom, we're finding two speakers over here, the connection for the keyboard, a very matte finish at the back. At the side, we're going to get a full USB 3.0 and a jack or an old school jack out. Having the volume control and the uh, not switch that I'm going to be needing to hold for powering on. And then at the side, we do having an additional, let's say two USB ports or type C and even an extra connection. And I'm guessing that's going to be one for the TV out functionality. If I don't have a brain for it. So one of the things I'm going to be playing a lot is going to be games like Kingdom, Rush or Tower Defense games. So I've been putting it on the best resolution this thing can handle. And when you're looking at the image itself, it looks crisp and clear. Also, the audio quality is insane on the Chewy. But let's get into some battle and I will show you how accurate and how much fun this is. So where we also tested this out on, let's say, other device from Chewy, this is just such an overall fun experience. And you can see how accurate this freaking thing is. Everything works perfectly. And if you're going to be playing some tower defense games and many other touch based ones, it's going to be great. And I don't know if it's going to be even better when it comes to the audio quality of the other one I've tested. But for this tablet, I'm quite surprised. And overall gaming on this is sure going to be such a blast to the past with games like this. I want to buy a power, come on, give me the tower. I need money. Oh. Oh crap, I have a problem. But how about the problem? So you can actually see that it runs on the maximum resolution. 2880 by 9020 on 60 Hz. And why is this a problem? 
So where this looks absolutely amazing on this tiny display, or actually the resolution compared with this is just amazing. Let's put it that way. However, if you're going to be getting into some gaming, a lot of indie games that even utilize this overall software, let's say combination, it's going to be just a blast to the past and super high resolution, and you can bring this thing with you. Take note, as you're going to be playing this, you can also use it on an external monitor, making this absolutely an amazing, great experience. But if you're going to be putting this thing, as I say, to another, let's say, monitor, I would recommend just getting, let's say, an, let's say, a lower resolution. But you can just see that the image is not that, let's say, like steady. You can see that it struggles with this. And this is the combination with the N100, where the N100 Intel is an amazing chip for just lower end, like indie gaming, basic indie games, older indie games, and even some older games. You can just see that it struggles utilizing this particular game and just playing it. And so let me show you what I mean. If you're going to be playing the same kind of game, we're going to be lowering the resolution. You can see it runs so much more and better and smoother. So putting the game back into the full HD resolution, 1080p, this is going to be running so much smoother. And you will notice it met many other games. And even newer games, where the N100 is just a great chip, you will even need to lower to 480p, 720p to get a fra stable frame rate. I think if you're going to be, let's say, up, just basically using the HDMI functionality, yeah, this is one of those many games you can enjoy. But it still looks great. The only thing is you can mess around with the resolution to get rid of the two black bars. For the next game, I just want to do a straight capture from the display. And I think the camera does do it justice when it comes to the colors and everything else. It just looks so amazing. And I can really enjoy myself these like, old school and newer beat em up games. Hot Man Street the Rage 4 is so much fun. However, if you're going to be looking into, let's say, the performance, and that's what I love about the M1 on the chipset, where I'm just a big fan of retro gaming, but also indie games like the Street of Rage and the Bigger Series Turtles, you name it, they run all great. And you can have such a much fun with this. Connecting the multiple controllers, you can have like a portable PC that can play every kind of, let's say, basic game, and including some retro stuff too. Street Fighter 4, a very old game, but with the N100 it runs very nice. However, huh, we need to get a little bit, let's say, scaling down of the resolution. Otherwise, we're not getting an overall great performance. And that is one of the many things, but it's still absolutely amazing to see that we can actually run this on device like this. We did need a little bit of a tweaking, you can see that I'm putting it on 1080p. And let's see how that will run, and otherwise I need to lower everything. We just have like a very cool game like this to be running on a tablet like that. Loading times are all sometimes a little bit longer than normal. But getting into the game, 1080p. It's a mix setting of low, medium. I will not try to put it on high because I think that's going to be a little bit too much for the tablet. Or you can just mess around with the resolution, but... Yeah, we can still do a little bit of tweaking. 